Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Melissa Yang. I am the faculty advisor to Lambda Pi Eta, the new side chapter here at Endicott College. I'm just really excited that you're all here and made it. Last year, our induction ceremony was on Zoom, and so it's exciting to be able to hold it in person, and I have some of my hospitality uh, team senior inductees from last year, and they could tell the big difference. So it's very exciting that we're able to do this in person. Um, first, I just want to welcome all the family and friends, especially those of you who made this special trip up here on a Friday afternoon. I don't know if you got stuck um, during that Salem area, and if you did, I hope it wasn't too painful, especially on a dreary day like this. Um, so you are definitely our special guests, and we really appreciate you here today. First, I want to also introduce you a group of special guests that came from campus. Um, we're really excited today that our dean is here with us, the dean of School of Social Sciences, Communication, and Humanities, Dr. Dean Her uh, Her Mark Herlihy. He's there in the back. Um, I would love for everybody to thank you for your time, Mark, and I hope um, some of you will have a chance to talk to him later. Um, I also would like to thank my colleagues, the Division of Communication faculty here. I believe they're all sitting there in a row. Um, you'll hear some of our students mention their classes uh, later. Um, they are definitely also our special guest. So now I'd like to introduce to you our officers of this year. Um, when I mention your name, my officers, I would love for you to come up here and join me. So first up is Meg uh, Megan Haley. Megan is our president this year. She was inducted into Lambda Pi Eta last year and she has been such a blessing to Lambda Pi Eta, just being the leader she is and with the drive. Um, so we're really happy that she stepped up to be the president. Um, this year's treasurer is Kaylee Brown. Kaylee is a junior and she majors in digital media major uh, and she is also one of our inductees today. Two of our officers can't be with us uh, today but they will still help us facilitate the ceremony through some pre-recorded videos. So um, stay tuned, you'll be able to see their faces. But the first up is our Vice President, Kylie Breen. She is a ju junior and a marketing communication major. Um, our fourth uh, officer is our secretary. She is Maddie Hentosh. She is having a schedule conflict, so she can't make it. But again, she will continue to help facilitate our uh, ceremony today. So now I'm going to hand the time over to Megan, who will start us off. Good afternoon, everyone. Um, so the name Lambda Pi Eta is represented by the Greek letters L, Lambda, P, Pi, and H, Eta, symbolizing what Aristotle described in his book Rhetoric as the three modes of persuasion. Logos meaning logic, pathos relating to emotion, and ethos defined as character, credibility, and ethics. The candle lighting ceremony will describe each of these Greek letters. Lambda Pi Eta was initiated by the students of the, of the Department of Communication at the University of Arkansas and was then endorsed by the faculty and founder, Dr. Stephen A. Smith, in 1985. The Speech Communication Association has established Lambda Pi Eta as an affiliate organization and as the official National Communication Honor Society for, the under, for undergraduates in 1994. In February 1996, Lambda Pi Eta was inducted into the Association of College Honor Societies. There are currently over 500 chapters worldwide. So now Kylie is joining us from Italy. The first mode of persuasion is logos or logic. In all aspects of scholarship and its application to one's life, logic plays a major role in deliberations and problem solving. Pathos, or emotional appeal, the second symbol of our organization's title, encompasses a driving force that makes an organization vital and effective. The last mode of persuasion is ethos, or character credibility and ethics. Aristotle sees character credibility as a primary means of affecting change in society and in one's life. 
Thus, it is appropriate that Ethos is a major symbol of Lambda Pi Eta. So now I'm going to introduce Maddie, and she will give us more information about Lambda. The purposes of the Honor Society, according to our Constitution, are number one, to recognize, foster, and reward outstanding scholastic achievement. Number two, to stimulate interest in the field of communication. Number three, to provide an opportunity to discuss and exchange ideas in the field of communication. Number four, to promote and encourage professional development among communication majors. Number five, to establish and maintain close relationships and mutual understanding between faculty and students. And number six, to explore options for further graduate education. The membership in Lambda Pi Eta is composed of undergraduate students who have declared an interest in the field of communication and have achieved a high level of academic excellence. To be eligible for membership, students must have completed 60 semester hours in undergraduate credit courses, have a cumulative grade point average of at least 3.0, have completed the equivalent of 12 semester hours in courses in communication, have a grade point average of at least 3.25 in these courses, be in the upper 35% of their graduating class, and be currently enrolled as a full-time student in good standing with their institution. I am pleased to present the new members of the Com Communication Honor Society to tell you why they chose to major in communication, digital media, and marketing communication slash advertising. The earliest memory that I had as a kid about my love for films was when I was watching the movie Night at the Museum. In this movie, there is a scene where there's a skeletal T-Rex playing fetch, and I always wondered how that was possible. It was what sparked a curiosity in me. I always wanted to know what happens behind the scenes. I wanted to travel around the world and create content. Filmmaking is a way to express yourself and have creative freedom. It, was, it also heavily relies on teamwork, so without your working crew, there would be no films. It is a great way to meet your lifelong friends and make connections. Without filmmakers, there would be no source of entertainment. I decided to become a digital media major with a concentration in filmmaking because having the satisfaction of seeing your small idea be shown on the big screen is something to be proud of. I'm learning new things each day about my major and it's constantly evolving. Have you ever felt that moment where the work you are doing just flows out effortlessly and you're in this state of complete serenity? That is what writing is for me. At a young age, the moment a pen was put into my hand, I would just start writing. Ideas and emotions would pour out of my head and onto paper. Most of the time, what I wrote didn't make sense or wasn't an organized thought. It was just a form of self-expression. Writing has always been my outlet, my safe space, my perfect state of flow. However, my writing passion didn't come from reading or taking English classes. It came from simply watching television and movies. I found it fascinating how writers could simply make characters so dynamic, relatable, and compelling to the point I learned important life lessons and found key parts of myself. These stories are what inspired me to pursue a writing career. As I grew older and shared my stories, my teacher noticed my gift and the power writing gave me. That's what led me to standing in front of you today at Endicott College. As a digital media filmmaking student with a minor in creative writing, my purpose is to create impactful stories that help other people live their most authentic lives. I want to work within an industry that allows me to produce storylines that audiences can relate to and see themselves within. I am eager to listen to other stories and find ways to make their voices heard through compelling and truthful audio or visuals. In the end, if one of my stories leaves an impact on someone's day, I can proudly say I've done my role as a storyteller. So I've been riding horses since the age of four and growing up I collected model horses and I remember spending hours a day filming and taking photos of them using my dad's laptop and small digital camera and Windows Movie Maker. So in 2012, I begged my dad to make a YouTube channel. And he was reluctant, but after telling him I planned to use it to sell my model horse tack, he finally agreed. So being on YouTube allowed me to meet and connect with so many people that shared a similar interest with me. And I was able to gain around 500 subscribers, which was a lot for a 12-year-old making videos out of her bedroom. While it might sound strange, horses and model horses are really what kick-started my interest in marketing, advertising, and communication. So in mid-2013, I started to move away from YouTube and created an Instagram account. 
I made this account as an attempt to connect with people and bring awareness to my small model horse tag making business. This account helped me to connect more people than YouTube had, and I amassed around 3,000 followers, which again, was a lot for a young teenager. While I may not have seen it as such as a 13-year-old, I was already practicing marketing and advertising on both YouTube and Instagram. And while I may not practice posting horses on social media anymore, these experiences are the reason I am in the major that I am today. So I chose to study marketing communication and advertising because I want to help others. I had the opportunity over the summer to work for a horse um, company managing their social media and marketing. And I believe that there is nothing more rewarding than knowing you were able to help someone because you were able to confidently tell them what they need based on personal experience rather than just because it's your job. So with that, I would love to be able to combine my passion for horses and communications in the future. When it came to choosing which major I wanted to focus on when I first came to Endicott College, I honestly was not sure which field to choose. After talking about this with my cousin who attended Boston College, she gave me a brief int introduction as to what communication entails. And it, de and it definitely piqued my interest. After doing a bit of research into the major, I realized that it is a major that could, not or that could give me a solid background that could prepare me for getting into the workforce. I was also looking into a major that forced me out of my comfort zone and could help me become a more confident individual. And I believe communication has done that for me. I felt that majoring in communication was the best choice for me to grow as a person and to help me prepare for what is to come after I graduate. One thing that propelled my interest when it comes to communications was completing my internships with the New Jersey Devils and Foundations Management and Pro Productions. I was fortunate enough to intern with the New Jersey Devils of the NHL with the communications director and assistant director. I really enjoyed that, this internship and it helped me further my understanding in, of the field and uh, because I was able to see firsthand the work that goes on behind the scenes of an NHL team. Personally, I am a fan of the NHL, so it is easy to say that a lot of fans will read into their favorite sports teams, but to see the amount of work that goes into the releases of the information was truly eye-opening. Also, when I worked with Foundations Management and Pro Productions, it was an amazing experience to work in an office setting where I saw firsthand the processes of releasing information about events that were coming up and seeing how much work goes into the marketing releases through the use of technological softwares. These experiences I was fortunate, fortunate enough to have through Endicott College were great ones and I hope to work in a setting similar to any of these after I graduate. Becoming a communication major wasn't an easy decision. This wasn't because I wasn't sure about the decision, but more because everyone else around me wasn't. At family gatherings I'd always hear, what are you gonna do with that? And in school I'd kind of get a blank scare, a stare and what does that mean? Most of the time, people just thought I'd be learning how to communicate, which seemed pretty pointless after 18 years of speaking. <laughs> now as a battle-worn communication student, I couldn't be prouder of my decision. That said, it still hasn't been easy. There's long hours in the editing bay turned useless after your footage mysteriously disappears, lugging camera bags and tripods across campus for weekend filming, nervously interviewing students and staff for a journalism article. There's research methods and social media, but with all the bad, there are good things too. The satisfaction of good audio, catching the perfect shot, getting an amazing quote, finding sources, learning about the world, and getting the tools to go out and change it. I love communication because it's a safe space for me to create and experiment. The opportunities are endless. And more than that, communication has prepared me for the digital world, to live in it, overcome its challenges, and offer it to others for better understanding. So in the end, everyone was right. In a way, communication is teaching me how to communicate, but better. Endicott College has historically paved the way for young women leaders. Being a school with motivations towards the greater independence and enhanced positions of women in the workplace, Endicott continues to shape resilient professionals. Starting with the late Dr. Elena Tupper, women have excelled in the Endicott community and beyond the nest as they take the next step in holding a leadership role in the workplace. Endicott has sustained a supportive environment for students and faculty to excel in their studies and continuously make discoveries for the world of education. Entering and prospering through, through the Division of Communication has shown endless possibilities for me too to flourish as a woman in leadership. I have learned perseverance from my professors and I have learned empowerment from our online women magazine, Her Campus. As far as a career in marketing, communication, and advertising, I plan to use what I have learned in my courses to inspire others to remain loyal to brands and companies who are making a difference in the world. 
I hope to compel consumers through strong copywriting skills, enforcing the growing need for inclus inclusivity and acceptance. I have nourished my passion for, cre for creativity through my degree thus far, and I only plan to create more content for brands to consider in their efforts to make the changes our society needs. While I have held many leadership positions over the years, I look forward to being a woman leader of Lambda Pi Eta most because of the drive each member has for their studies and the future of the community we are a part of. Endicott has always stood out to me as an accepting and driven community of students and faculty that want to make a difference while allowing students to be the best versions of themselves. I chose Endicott because of the opportunities presented, but mostly because I knew I would have a supportive group of, of professionals encouraging me, much like the one I am becoming a part of today. I'm not ashamed to admit that the first thing got me in interested in advertising was watching the TV show Mad Men. It's set in New York during the 50s and 60s at an up-and-coming advertising agency competing for more high-level clients. The people who worked there called themselves Mad Men instead of Ad Men because they worked on Madison Avenue. And it wasn't all the drinking at work or classy suits that got me interested in it. Maybe it did a little. <laughs> it was really how the main character, Don Draper, managed to pitch every single campaign with such raw emotion. He could turn something as simple as a Hershey's chocolate bar into something that made you think back on your childhood. In one pitch, Draper brings up the concept of using nostalgia in an advertising, in an advertising message. He said, nostalgia literally means the pain from an old wound. It's a twinge in your heart far more powerful than memory alone. This gave me an insatiable desire to help brands connect with consumers on an emotional level. To me, marketing and advertising is so much more than a flashy catchphrase with some colorful imaging. In my opinion, successful advertising is about creating both a personal and sentimental bond with the audience. It's about brands reaching out to society and saying, we hear you, we understand you, and we want to work with you. This is what gets me going about being a marketing communication and advertising major here at Endicott, and it's what makes me excited about the work I hope to do in the future. I know for a fact I wouldn't be here tonight without the incredible work ethic that was instilled in me by my family. I want to thank them and all the other people who have come here to support their loved ones for their great achievements. Thank you. As I was growing up, I always, I always felt like the odd one out and that I didn't belong in any of the groups I was a part of. The first time I got social media, I remember seeing my thoughts and feelings being put into words by, by other people when I could never do it on my own. It was the first time I felt I wasn't alone. Other people were like me in the simplest ways. Social media provided an outlet for me to express myself in ways I never thought I could. It allowed me to experiment creatively and connect with people with my interests. Throughout my life, I have always been fascinated by the media. However, there have been many downsides that came along with it. It could make you believe so many things. As I got older, more stories would come out about how the media portrayed certain people and the simplest strategies can control how you think of something. Social media is turning into a breeding ground for negativity, and I think it should be the opposite and bring people together. I chose to become a communications major here at Endicott because it gave me a broad amount of opportunities in media-related areas. I want to help make a difference by spreading positive messages in any way I can throughout various communities, by creating content that will leave an impact that will hopefully make people's days a little brighter. Throughout my life, I have always considered myself to possess strong leadership skills. In elementary school classes, my desire to constantly be challenged and take charge of projects often resulted in me getting called bossy because in the minds of some, young girls must be taught to be subdued early on, lest their ambition be mistaken for brassness. I continue to follow my passion for leadership throughout my academic career, joining one club after another, activities council, peer mediation, debate club. Any chance I could to find to work with others and strengthen my communication skills, I seized. Luckily enough for me, when it came time to plan my future, I found a major that perfectly suited my passion for interpersonal leadership. At Endicott College, I have found a home in the discipline of communication. I am now in a major surrounded by other students just like me, who are called bossy or overbearing. 
when in reality, they just wanted to have their voices heard. My classes are filled with leaders who all interpret communication in their own unique way. In my future endeavors in the communication field, I have a desire to intertwine my work with social justice. I want to use my communication and interpersonal skills to help strengthen the voices of those who have been historically oppressed. I want to craft messages and speak to audiences in a way that inspires people to be leaders within their own communities. In our modern world that is so polarized, leaders in communication are more important than ever. Hi everyone, my name is Lindsay. I grew up as a generally creative person. I took multiple music courses throughout high school, and I took dance lessons from the time I was three until I graduated from high school. Um, I learned so much from dance, especially about using your own creativity to create something special. I love the discipline dance gave me, but I knew when I graduated from high school, I wanted to use that creative energy elsewhere. I had taken several business classes in high school, high school as well. I genuinely enjoyed them, so I knew I wanted to choose a major that stayed in the area of business thinking. I genuinely had a hard time picking my major, going back and forth between accounting and what I chose, which was marketing communications and advertising. I felt that majoring in accounting would guarantee me a steady career upon graduation. However, in the back of my mind, I knew I wouldn't want a job crunching numbers at a desk all day. No offense to any accountants. <laughs> I chose marketing communications and advertising because it was a compromise between my passion for creativity and my business-driven desire to accomplish something larger for an organization. I'm confident that I made the right decision because I genuinely enjoy the content I'm learning today, and I can see myself pursuing similar work in the future. I've also declared two minors here that I will complete in my time at Endicott, a minor in business administration and a minor in graphic design. I feel as though these two minors in combination with my marketing communications and advertising major will allow me to find the career of my dreams that provides an outlet for my creativity while also allowing me to use these business skills to solve problems and create inspiring content. Growing up, my involvement in theater and experience with music helped me understand the impact I can have on others. When you put on a show or give a concert, it is not simply about the music or shows you perform. It is about the people you're performing for and how your work impacts them. Seeing how my own work on stage could do just that is what led me to study communication. I want to get a message across to people to make them feel. I want to use my place as a media producer to do something important, to have an impact. In the field of communication, we study the deep and complicated relationships between media producers and consumers. We study the responsibility that comes with producing media. We study how technological advances have and will forever shape how we communicate. And maybe I haven't completely figured out where I want my career to go, but I have learned that I want to have a positive impact, even as part of a larger organization. My courses have taught me just how serious my role as a media producer is, and I know that wherever I land, I want to make a difference with my work and create something worthwhile. As a freshman, I initially majored in communication despite knowing deep down that I wanted to be a journalist. People insisted on telling me that I shouldn't go into journalism because it's dying and that there are better options. I briefly internalized that and opted to major in communication in general. That was until I made the switch to digital media with a focus in journalism after just one semester. For as long as I can remember, I've loved writing and knew by middle school that journalism was my calling. I've been writing sports stories since I was in eighth grade and having them published online since I was a sophomore in high school. I love sports and it's my goal to be a sports writer. Some might say that journalism is dying, but I'd love to be a part of changing that narrative. Majoring in digital media is the first step. When I was in first grade, I remember winning first place in a writing contest at school. In the story, I had detailed my experience at my friend's birthday party. I talked about the Shrek-themed cake that we ate and my first time tubing at the local ski mountain. I stood proudly in front of the entire school with my ribbon. Seeing everyone enjoy my work and getting recognition for it definitely kick-started my love for writing, even though I was only six years old. Thank you all the inductees. I know um, I was holding my um, cl uh, cl applause as well. I just felt like you all deserve your individual applause um, with all the wonderful stories and the insights. And so if you are craving for more, there are two more because I want to use this opportunity to recognize a group of students who can't be here with us today. Uh, their names are listed in the program. Uh, a lot of them are actually studying abroad. So I've asked two of them to record their reflections. And so I will play two for you. One of them is actually, first up, uh, Kylie Breen, who is our uh, vice president. 
Throughout my life, I've always loved to be creative and found myself happiest when I was working on something unique. Eventually, I discovered my passion for photography, which has served as a creative outlet for me since I was 12 years old. Unfortunately, my high school program did not offer any photography courses, so I decided to take a chance on a program called DECA, which had an amazing reputation from past members. DECA is a competitive program that prepares emerging leaders and entrepreneurs for careers on marketing, finance, hospitality, and management in high schools and colleges around the globe. The program allowed me to channel my creativity into a year-long project, and I joined a category titled Creative Marketing during my junior year. For my project, I aided a local cafe with their social media presence, partnerships, and community awareness. This project allowed me to incorporate my passion for photography, but I learned that my creativity was not just limited to taking photos. Marketing has its greatest successes through originality and innovation. After developing a love for marketing, I knew that I wanted to pursue the subject further for my senior year project. My teammates and I joined a category called independent business, and we created a marketing firm that teaches small businesses how to implement and maintain an online presence. Through this amazing program, I devoted most of my year to learning about starting a business and the entrepreneurial skills that were needed to achieve this feat. When researching different majors, the marketing communication slash advertising program at Endicott integrated the elements of marketing that I had developed a passion for, and I knew that it was a major for me. Rather than focusing on all four P's of marketing, product, price, place, and promotion, marketing communications focuses on the creativity of promotion, where we really focus on how to target and communicate a brand's message to a certain audience. Keeping promotion as the focal point of my education allowed me to exercise my creativity the way I loved to while developing my project in high school. The DECA program introduced me to the world of marketing, and I knew that it was something that I wanted to pursue, not only in my college career, but also in day-to-day -day life. During my senior year, in addition to my DECA project, I started my own photography business for high school senior portraits. Three years later, I have used my experience in creative marketing and communications to advance my photography business, and I've developed a clientele throughout the state, taking in over 50 clients this past year. I am truly thankful for my experience in the DECA program and to all of the Endicott classes that have aided me in expanding my business and marketing skills. Classes like Advertising Fundamentals, Social Media and Marketing, Strategic Media Planning, Foundations of Graphic Design, and Writing for the Media all opened my eyes to new strategies to gain exposure for my photography and engage my audience. My business has been able to flourish because of the subject matter that I have been learning in my classes, and I am so excited to see what the future holds. So next up is Emma. She is um, currently in Spain. Hi, I'm Emma Wisbeck, a junior currently studying abroad in Greece. I came to Endicott as a communications major feeling less about what I could see myself working with after college. It wasn't until my freshman year summer when I applied to intern at IKEA and they asked me to work within the marketing communications department to launch a new sustainable collection of turning upcycled denim textiles into products that I finally discovered marketing communication and advertising as a major. Marketing communications is about developing messages, building connections with others, and having an impact on people and the world as a whole. Throughout the internship, I got to interview the stakeholders behind the background of the project about the process of developing a completely new sustainable collection, with my Q&As included in the official launch of the collection. Having my internship be directly related to what I would be working with if I decided to pursue a career in marketing communication and having my work be included in the final rollout of the collection made me change from major to marketing communication and advertising to dive deeper into the field. Combining my two passions of sustainability and communicating with others made it very clear the direction I could see myself working with in the future. Using marketing in a way that I can have a good influence on not only others, but the planet as well. <laughs> I'm ex really excited uh, for our inductees today. So we're going to move on for the official uh, induction. Um, now I will call your names for all of our uh, new inductees to come up to the front. And I'm going to invite Megan to join me. Uh, by coming up here and receiving the certificate, it means that you accept the challenge to maintain the high academic and leadership standards set forth by the organization and to serve as examples for the achievement of excellence in the field of communication. It also means that you promise to work uh, towards the achievement of the purpose and goals set forth by the National Organization of Lambda Paeta. So first up, Anna Bowie. And there you go. Stand. 
Juliana Dorazio, Kylie Gore, Jack Fitzgerald, Megan Hemingway, Claire Manning, Peter Roche, Julia Rada, Shannon Stamps, Lindsay Sine, Rebecca Turner. Last but not the least, our only one in person officer, Kaylee Brown. All right. Thank you. Ooh, let me turn this off. Make sure it's not in your eyes. Yeah. All right. So I now present to you the newly inducted members of New Side Chapter of Lambda Pi Eta for the 2021-2022 academic year. Welcome. Well, the faculty, family, round of applause. Thank you. So this concludes our induction ceremony, and I really appreciate everybody's presence here today. I would invite you to join us, mingle, and enjoy some refreshments outside. Thank you, and have a great Halloween weekend.